Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, well, so this next highlight that we were going to have, Edna sitting, is easy because it didn't even get played. But we can roll some video out there. We were there in Sentin tonight, but so this game got delayed from 7 o'clock to set or 7:30 to 7:45, and then at that point, just to let Edna go home, they were going to start it. You know, they said it wouldn't start before 9 o'clock, so they just said, you know what, we're good. And so uh, yeah, we don't get Jimmy Mitchell's return to Sentin, unfortunately. A what might have been game, yeah. as yeah. it were. It's a what if scenario, but it's all right. It's it one of those a nights. bye week. It becomes yeah. a bye week. All right, let's get on to the next one then. Down in the Valley. They played this one, at least some of it, I guess. Uh, Ingleside and Rio Hondo. Mustangs undefeated on the year here. Mustangs coming up with a good play on defense. They're going to force the fumble. Wait for it. Oh, that ball is loose and out. Ingleside's got it. There you and go. then taking advantage here, Aiden Jacobson or Jacobson going to go with a short throw to Jaden Smith. We're used to him making those big long catches, but he does all the hard work here, earning that touchdown. Jacobson to Smith. You're going to hear that connection a lot this season. No question about it. Obviously, big time through the air, just like this. Yep. And then here it's Rodrigo Saucedo. Or that was Smith again. This is Rodrigo Saucedo here with the catch going down to the ground. Great grab there, hauled it in. And then again on the little dump down, getting a nice gain, moving the chains down there in Bobcat country. And that would set up this, the score. Let's take a look. Not sure if they have gone final. They have not, but Ingleside trying to hold on to go to 4-0, 50-38 in the fourth. There we go, big time offense for the Mustangs. Now we look ahead to the Taft Greyhounds and the Robstown Pickers. We picked this one up in the second quarter with Robstown leading 28-0. So head coach Gage Perry happy with the production. Now Taft's quarterback Brandon Suarez connecting with Andrew Martinez here for a couple plays in a row. Really close right there, but it looks like he was able to get it, put them into field goal range, but they would miss this field goal. So the lead still 28 to 0 for Robstown. So the Pickers would take over the ball and a couple connections here between Derek Silva and Joe Luna. And this time to Luna who catches it turns on the burners and into the end zone for Joe Luna to extend the lead after a two-point conversion right here from the Pickers. And that brings it up 36 to zero at this point in the game. And you know, Robstown was a team looking for that first win of the season. And hey, you know, they came out looking like they really wanted this one tonight. Absolutely, and so obviously the offense was flowing. This is Isaiah Gutierrez going through a whole bunch of Greyhounds, but getting pushed back on the ground here. And then Derek Silva again through the air. Really nice pass right here to Tim Sanchez. And that was really the story of the game in this one. Let's take a look at the final score. 36 to 0, well, suspended. And that's a game like, okay, you know, that's not a close game. You give Robstown the win there. So, like, if it's like a one score game, okay, it becomes a little murkier. That one, we're going to chalk that up to Robstown. All right, here, how about Hebronville taking on undefeated Lyford Bulldogs here? This was a lengthy delay to start the game. So, finally, get it going still in the first quarter here. But the defense going to work. And Getting a sack there, tackle for loss. So, uh, Hebronville in business. But then here, going through the air and getting it done in for the score. Ooh, nice celebration. Yeah, this was a good back and forth game. And then a, another score here, I believe. Yep, that is for Hebronville. My shot sheet here is a little backwards, I think. And uh, that made it 14 to 12. Let's take a look at the final. If this game did go final, again, we're kind of all over the place with some of these scores. This one did. Oh, unfortunately, Hebronville does go down 27 to 12, the final. So, hey, you know, bad news is Hebronville lost. The good news is we actually had a game go final. So that's one of our few exactly. uh, on the night. But, um, you know, Lyford coming to town, staying undefeated. But, hey, good. 
great effort from Robstown tonight. You know, I know Gage Perry had high hopes for them coming in, and, you know, you were at that game. Looked pretty good. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, Robstown has had kind of an up-and-down season, so this has to really be a momentum builder for that team. And, obviously, Gage Perry really happy to see the production on the offensive end that hasn't always been there. Yeah, Taft has, has kind of struggled uh, to start this year. But, all right, we've got more games coming up. Uh, if you want to see the scores, Again, they're kind of murky there too, but you can head online to our website.